tutorial by the website Guru. In this tutorial, we will be talking about using style sheets within Dreamweaver. Style sheets are a powerful way to organize and maintain design elements on your website. This is quickly becoming the standard in organizing text, text design, and table design in HTML. Web designers are getting away from standard tags like font, font size, font colors, in a localized way because this is time consuming. If you want to add this attribute to every single element on every single table element on every page in your website, this could take a while. Style sheets can actually link to a global file. This is called a CSS file. Let's open Dreamweaver and I'll show you what I mean. This is a page we created in another tutorial. As you can see, it's pretty plain. It's a straight output from Dreamweaver based on the parameters we choose. If we select this text and say we want to change this color to blue and make it bold, it actually creates a style for us. It's what they call an inline style. An inline style is basically a style sheet that is part of the local page. That means I can't refer to this style from any other page in the site. It's just for this web page. This is a step up from the old way it used to be done by placing everything on a localized tag itself. At least by using an inline style, I can refer to this inline style anywhere else I want to on this web page. For example, if I choose this text and I go to style drop down, box at the below, and select style one, I can use the same inline style sheet on this page. Now the real power in style sheet isn't an inline style, it's by using a global CSS file. And we do this by going over here to the CSS properties dialog box, click the plus box where it says new style CSS rule. You'll notice the dialog box appear in the center of the page. We want to define this as a new style sheet file, so we're going to click this. Everything else you can leave the same. If you want to change the name, that's fine. If you're creating a body text, everything else we can leave. Class can apply to tag, that's correct. Now once we hit OK, it'll ask where we want to save it. I'm going to save it as supersite.css. Now that we have saved it, you'll notice another di dialog box appear. Now here is where you will really see the power of style sheets. This expands what we are already seeing in the property box. You can change the color, the weight, and even how it is aligned in the document. But this goes a step further. We can do background colors. So if you're doing something with tables, you can do background images. You can set how many times the background image repeats and on what axis it repeats. There's a whole lot of things you can do with style sheets that you just can't do with regular properties in HTML. Let's start with text. We're going to do a simple little text modification. We'll pick our size. We'll make it 12. Choose bold and normal as the style. And we'll choose blue as the color. Then hit apply and OK. Now that I've hit OK, you'll notice that we have a style in the dialog box. There's also an inline style that we created, but you won't see that on any other page in the website. All the parameters for this new style are shown here in this dialog box. Now when we select text, simply go back to the dialog box at the bottom and choose our style. You'll notice that now there is a style in the drop down box called body. Click this. Dreamweaver will also give you a preview of what the style will look like in the drop down box, which is pretty handy. Now you can see yourself in the code that the only attribute it had to add in the tag is class equals body. And Dreamweaver actually knew to add the style sheet from the other file, which is showed right here. As long as we have this bit of code in every single one of our pages, we can use any style in that supersite.css file that we created. By now you should be able to understand why a style sheet are so much more powerful 
than the old way. For example, if a client would come and say after you have already made 30 web pages for their website and everything looks good, but they want to change the color of this font in every page and that they didn't like the way that the font is positioned on the pages. The old method would be to go and do a multiple find and replace. That's the old way to find a piece of code and replace it with a new piece. There's two reasons you don't want to do this. For one, it could be dangerous. Another reason is it could be very time consuming if they have a lot of web pages in the site. However, when using a global style sheet like this body tag, I simply right click, choose edit, change my color, click OK, and you'll notice it instantly updates the color of the text. And this will happen on every page in the website that uses this global style sheet file. Well, this is the basics for what a style sheet can do for you. This is a great starting point, but it just is just the tip of the iceberg for what you can do with a style sheet. Style sheets are definitely becoming the norm and all web designers should be using this method as default for text decoration, table decoration in all their websites. If you're not familiar with style sheets, this is something that, as a programmer you need to learn. It will be helpful in the long run and very beneficial to you. Well, I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and please stop back and visit us and check out our other tutorials. Thanks.